welcome everyone for the gym for the vijay and i gathered around this holy altar to celebrate a holy mass to pray for you and pray with you on this feast day of ascension in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit today on this seventh sunday of easter we celebrate the feast of ascension of the lord ascension in christian belief is the ascent of jesus christ into heaven on the 40th day after his resurrection during this time jesus christ met several times with his disciples to instruct them on how to carry out his teachings jesus assures his followers that he has been given all authority in heaven and on earth there is no reason to fear with his ascension everything changed they were to go out into the world making disciples of all nations and jesus did promise in the final line of today's gospel remember i am with you always to the end of the age dear brothers and sisters the ascended jesus is also our source of strength and encouragement in the midst of all the changes in the church and in the society jesus as strength allows us to overcome our fears anxieties and worries as we meditate on this ascension sunday and so pause for a moment to acknowledge our sins and ask him for his grace and mercy Lord Jesus you are mighty God and prince of peace Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord Jesus you are the son of God and son of Mary Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord Jesus you are the word made in flesh and the splendor of the father Lord have mercy Lord have mercy May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen glory to god in the highest amen. and on earth peace, peace to people peace of good will we, we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father do take away the sins of the world have mercy on us do take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high Jesus Christ with the holy spirit in the glory of God the father amen let us pray gladden us with the holy joys almighty god and make us rejoice with the joyful thanksgiving for the ascension of christ to son is our exaltation and where the head has gone before in glory the body is called to follow in hope through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book 
Theophilus. I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with the loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, a great King over all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. For God is the King of all the earth, Sing praises with a song. God is king over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches 
of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power? God put his power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the father invites the fiancé to his study for a drink. So what are your plans? The father asks the young man. I am a Torah scholar, he replies. A Bible scholar, hmm, the father says, admirable. But what will you do to provide a nice house for my daughter to live in, as she is accustomed to? I will study, the young man replies, and God will provide for us. And how will you buy a beautiful engagement ring for my daughter, such as she deserves? asks the father. I will concentrate on my studies, the young man replies, 
God will provide for us. And children asks the father, how will you support children? Don't worry, sir. God will provide, replies the fiancé. The conversation proceeds like this, and each time the father questions, the young idealist insists that God will provide. Later, the mother asks the father, How did it go, honey? The father answers, He has no job. And he has no plans. But the good news is, he thinks I am God. Sisters and brothers, when Jesus ascended into heaven, he did not have a plan for his little community, but trusting in his Father's will, he left it in the hands of his apostles. We are familiar with a frequently used saying, to go a full circle, which means that people or things having said on a journey or task have returned to where they started. They have successfully completed the cycle and are back at the beginning. In one sense, the ascension celebrates that Jesus has come full circle because having come from the Father to accomplish a specific mission, he returns to the Father having achieved what he was sent to do. But in another sense, the ascension marks the passing on of the baton by Jesus to his apostles. During his public ministry, Jesus in his words and in his actions showed the loving nature of God. Now the responsibility for that ministry is being passed on to his apostles and disciples. They are mandated to continue his saving work, drawing all nations to the love of God. However, he makes it clear to them that they will not be alone in their tasks. I will be with you always, he tells them, not physically, but spiritually. And he also promises to send the Holy Spirit who would guide them in all their activities. And we will celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit next week in the beautiful Feast of the Pentecost. Sisters and brothers, the church Jesus leaves to his disciples on the Mount of the Ascension is rooted not in buildings or formulas of prayer or systems of theology, but in faith nurtured in the human heart, a faith centered in joy and understanding, a faith that gives us strength and freedom to live as authentic and effective witnesses of the risen Christ, who is with us always. Christ entrusts to his disciples of every time and every place the sacred responsibility of teaching others everything he has taught and revealed about God the Father. God's limitless love, God's unconditional forgiveness, God's acceptance of every person as God's beloved sons and daughters, and our own identity as children of God and brothers and sisters to one another. And Christ also calls us to be witnesses of God's presence in our lives to bring into the lives of others his healing forgiveness and reconciliation with God and with one another. 
to hand on to others the story that has been handed on to us about Jesus and his gospel of love and compassion. The ascension of the Lord is not the observance of a departure, but a celebration of your presence. Matthew's gospel begins with a promise of Emmanuel, God with us. And it concludes with a promise of the risen Christ. I am with you always, even to the end of the time. Sisters and brothers, as we walk through these challenging COVID-19 days, our risen Lord is with us and He is within us. He walks with each of us, offering us strength and courage and hope. So let us entrust ourselves to Him. Let us pray to be His faithful witnesses. And let us walk with courage and with faith. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last day. Amen. We bring our petitions and prayers to the Heavenly Father. For the Church, the community of disciples of the Lord Jesus, and for leaders and teachers in the Church, entrusted with authority and power to witness to the name of Jesus. For our St. Kevin Parish community, called even in these COVID-19 days, to act and speak courageously as we spread the good news, for the wisdom to teach our children and young people that love reveals God, that love involves self-giving and sacrifice, and that love may gain nothing in return. For these intentions we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That medical and health care workers might continue to find strength in their common vocation of protecting and saving lives during these COVID-19 days. For the vulnerable and for the elderly in long-term care homes, living in great fear and trepidation. For the devoted women and men who care for them. That every child in the world will be imagined wanted, welcomed, celebrated, and enjoyed. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those families in the parish dealing with brokenness, the brokenness that comes from sickness, uncertainty, conflict, and increasing financial insecurity for a renewed sense of mission, that everyone baptized in Christ may have a deeper understanding of how they are commissioned to be evangelizers, bringers of the good news of Jesus to others. And we go deep into our hearts and we make our prayer to the Lord. And for these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, in your mercy and kindness, 
answer our prayers. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of your human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of your human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the fall of God's holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and the Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these caves, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but will listen the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God. With shouts of joy, let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to our God. He is the Lord, He is the Lord. Sing to the Lord with shouts of joy, let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to our God. He is the Lord. Thanks to God, our Creator, for His love.